Today we're going to do a global tour of free flight project management and we're going to start at the members level. In the main members area you'll see a new tab my projects which we'll come on to later and then we see uh, another window below which is personalized saying your club needs you Morris in my case. Below we'll see a list of the projects that uh, have been set up by the project managers. There are two types, one where there is no scheduled start date, which the user can choose to uh, put the start date in themselves. They click on I'm in, and they get a little box up as you can see, which asks them to put the t time and date in when they can actually start to do that job. And they then also put in the time that they want to start the job how long they expect the job to take them in a special format and then they simply click save once then done that as you notice the job immediately is gets removed from the list if we take a look now at my jobs you'll see that um, the actual job that they've just signed up for is down there in the calendar going back into my projects for a minute uh, we'll, we'll quickly show you how it integrates with the rest of modern technology we're going to drill down now into a week view because I only want to, to see a few jobs in the list and there are the jobs that span over more than one day and this is the job that we've just decided to do uh, for the club which was to fit the new door to the office um, once we've got those in view we can click on a little button at the side which will give me the option to export those to a thing which is called iCal now this is a a, a global format used by most mobile devices and tablets these days and we're going to export it to iCal and what very quickly happens whether you're on a tablet or on a PC it brings up uh, a dialog box which interfaces with your own calendar uh, on the PC or the tablet and when you have selected which calendar you want to put it in it will then bring the calendar up log all the items in that are visible on the screen in the user's own calendar so when they close down from free flight they can take it the calendar will go with them and they can put reminders on and all the other usual stuff you do with calendar items uh, at the present that's it for now on this section we're going to go now and have a look at what happens with how the jobs are put onto the system So in this section I'm going to very quickly show you how using the calendar and point and click and drag and drop we can quickly drill down into a project and see what its current status is. I'm going to try and find that one that we uh, that we put in on the members admin and here it is. I'm going to click on it and very quickly show you uh, what the what's happening with this project. We're going to look on the other tab which is called activities and you'll see that there's a hierarchical tree there. If I drill down into that, I can see quickly who's volunteered. All of this section, of course, is for the benefit of the project managers rather than the users. What I'm going to do now is to go to the top menu of the jobs, and I'm going to go down to uh, put a new unscheduled task into it. And I'm going to go back to the members admin and see how it looks from the members side. So we're going to put a new job in now. Uh, it's going to be something simple like wash the windows. Um, I'm not the fastest typist in the world so this will take a few seconds here we go and then the rest of the information for a simple job you can just ignore that's all you need to do because what we want to do is to flag up to the membership that um, the job requires doing and leave it up to the members themselves to decide whether they want to, whether they can do that job and more importantly when they want to do it so we just click save for now puts that job away now I'm going to very quickly go back to the members area and you'll see immediately that it's now appeared on the jobs to do list that each member will see every time they log into free flight to check their account balances and look at the daily flying, flying planner and whatever else they need to do. 
Okay, so that was a simple one job, one volunteer kind of um, scenario. Let's like, take a look at a couple more now. First one is a more complex job where we require more than one volunteer and often will be scheduled into uh, one of the available resources that we have at the club. This one, for instance, requires that we need the aircraft workshop. So it will be scheduled in for a date on a date when the aircraft workshop is available. And I'll show you how to do that later. The other job is one where um, there are uh, task dependencies. So that, for instance, um, one task cannot start until another task is finished. An example of that would be fettling the winches where we need to drop the gearbox out to get at the clutch. So we can't start stripping the clutch until the gearbox is out of place. So I'll show you how to do all of that in another tutorial. This is just uh, the global overview so I'm very quickly showing you uh, what the system is capable of. Um, one of the advantages of the uh, dependent activities is that if a job runs over time and we need to reschedule it, then all the dependent activities will automatically move uh, when you move the, um, the, the primary task. Um, I'll go into that in more data, detail in another, another tutorial. So let's very quickly take a look now at another view of the same day. So this is the schedule of view. And this is the schedule of all the activities that we've got planned. <coughs> If a job runs over or we need to reschedule it, you simply pick it up and move it across up and down the line to the right space. If you look closely at the little clock symbol, you'll see that as you move it, the time moves as well as does the date. You simply drop it in place and that's that's it, job done. All the data behind the scenes will automatically adjust to reflect the new dates. There's one, for instance, where we're moving a few days because we've suddenly found spare time capacity in in one of the workshops. And I don't know why I was doing that. I'm probably just playing. And that's all from the Free Flight News Desk. We'll have more on this subject in the next few days. Stay tuned to this channel.